lords and ladies, princes and princesses, kings and queens. Introducing your royal jester. Fit like Abadi, Jester here, and welcome to a very dark night. Right outside Windhelm here in Skyrim Special Edition. And yes, I do have night vision active, as you can see. But anyway, in the last episode, we killed Nilsine Shattershield. We killed... What's his face? Um, Alain Dufont. Alain Dufont. And we explored a Dwemer ruin in the process. But now we are heading to Kynes Globe before we return to Mwiri because Delphine seems to think we're dealing with zombie dragons rather than just normal dragons. So why the hell not? No, you don't want to go up there. A dragon, it's attacking. Uh, are you sure? What? Okay, so a dragon is attacking well, Kynes Globe. Not yet. It flew over the town and landed on the old dragon mound. <laughs> I don't know what it's doing up there, but I'm not waiting around to find out. Okay. Oh, hurry, we might be too late. Okay, there is a dragon. By the way, um, I got a new dagger. I got an upgraded uh, orc dagger. Come on, we find out what's happening up there. Okay, we've got a stormcloak soldier who is dead. And oh god. Okay, and um, also by the way, uh, I bought a new spell, a uh, conjure black daedroth. So we're going to use that. Um, let's see, what should we... I think numbness is probably a good way to start. Need to check that out soon. Oh, what's this? Should have picked somebody else for your dinner. What? what? Ah, we've got bloody... Okay, we've got huskies. Uh, let's go for frenzy. Oh, whoa, that's an area of effect. I did not know that. Okay, yep. Throw the husky up. Okay, and, um. There we go. Another. These bloody huskies. Don't let your. Lorcan's eyes. Look at that big bastard. Yep, that is a big drag. Where's the burial? Where's the dragon? Delphine? Where? Del. No, oh, okay, he's all the way up there then. Uh, how on earth do I have to go? Okay. okay let's just sneak, sneak skidoodles. Okay. Uh, we've got a giant, ra rather intimidating dragon. Oh, don't tell me it's looking at me. Is it looking at me? Okay. Okay, there's the... Salukunir. Zeal Grotova Ursa. Is that... Is that thing speaking? Is... Is that thing speaking? What the... Jesus... Uh... Okay. Delphine. I'm sorry for doubting you. I'll do what on earth? It can see me. What? You do not even know Such arrogance. Oh, where's my cross? Why earth is that not on there? I don't, and actually, you know what? I'm going to test out my new Daedra. Because it takes quite a bit of magic up. Let's go! Probably should have gone for the Atronach, to be honest, because that's got a range. Dude! Dude! I lost it for a second. I'm going for this numbness spell. There it is, it's gone over there. Go, my, is it, my day drop still. My day drop is still there, I think. Okay, um, that reminds me. Poison. Do I have. Um. 
There we go. Poison you. There we go. Okay. Oh boy. Where the hell is it going? Okay, it's just going right back, dude. Is my Daedra still alive? Okay, uh, wrong button. Uh, we'll go for another normal poison then. I think my Daedroth is... Yes, my Daedroth is still alive. Come on then. Nobody despairing, Salafnir. Oh boy, where's it going? Run! Run! <laughs> okay. Okay. Stay out of... Whoa! Jesus, Delphi! Okay, and uh, my Daedroth seems to have vanished, so... Get back in there, bud. There we go. And there you go! <sighs> Good boy. Oh god, not again. Okay. Let's see what happens this time, because so last time really it took me by surprise. What happened? Uh, uh. Okay, so it's kind of, okay. It turns to a, turns into a skeleton, and it's kind of like what the graybeards do to me, on a much bigger scale. Anything good on you? Hello there, light painted round shield. Nah, nah. It's true, okay. isn't it? You really are Dragonborn. I suppose so. I owe you some answers, don't I? Go ahead. Um, Whatever you want to know. Nothing held back. Well, there are a lot of things I want to know. Um, how to kill somebody in broad daylight without being seen. Uh, how to become a very powerful vampire. But I'm sure you can't answer those questions. There goes Fido. Um... Yeah, what do you want with me? I'm one of the last members of the Blades. A very long time ago, the Blades were Dragon Slayers, and we served the Dragonborn, the greatest Dragon Slayer. For the last 200 years since the last Dragonborn Emperor, the Blades have been searching for a purpose. Now that dragons are coming back, our purpose is clear again. We need to stop them. <sighs> Don't really care who the blades are. Don't really care what you know about the dragons coming back. I just want to be able to kill in peace. Okay. But I'm guessing you've got a plan to deal with this. The first thing we need to do is figure out who's behind the dragons. Um, the Thalmor are our best lead. If they aren't involved, uh, they don't know who is. I, you... <laughs> Considering that those two dragons had a bona fide conversation with each other, I don't think they're, you know, just dumb beasts to, um, you know, be chained by the Thalmor. To be honest, I don't think the Thalmor are controlling them. So why do you think that? Nothing solid. But my gut tells me it can't be anybody else. The Empire had captured Ulfric. Um, the war was basically over. Then a dragon attacks, Ulfric escapes, and the war is back on. And now the dragons are attacking everywhere, indiscriminately. Skyrim is weakened. The Empire is weakened. Who else gains from that but the Thalmor? Well, considering that the Thalmor could probably wipe out the Empire anyway, I don't think it benefits them much more than they already were benefited. Then again, maybe they've got some research because, you know, they are the Thalmor. They've got a lot of money. So we can find out what they know about these dragons. If we could get into the Thalmor Embassy, it's the center of their operations in Skyrim. 
Problem is, that place is locked up tighter than a miser's purse. They could teach me a few things about paranoia. So how do we get into the Thalmor Embassy? Hmm, I'm not sure yet. I have a few ideas, but I'll need some time to pull things together. Meet me back in Riverwood. If I'm not back when you get there, wait for me. I shouldn't be long. Keep an eye on the sky. This is only going to get worse. Right. Uh, right, so. First thing to do is level up. Okay, let's put this into Magicka once again, because I like Magicka. And, let's see. Yeah, I think we'll go for Light Armor Fit, just to sort of open up all of these options. And, ah, uh, but, ah! What can I get rid of? Why did I, why did I pick up that wolf shield? Nothing! I am going to go to Markarth now, return there. So that I can get a yes, so I can talk to Muiri and get my payment. Uh, tell Muiri the deed is complete. She's in this room now. Why don't you? Okay, fair enough. Muiri. Well, what news? Is Elaine? Alain Dufont now lies dead. Thank you. That bastard got exactly what he deserved. And I heard about Nilsine. You have more than fulfilled your part of the bargain. Please, take this. As payment and a symbol of my affection. I'll never forget you. I think you have greatly overestimated our relationship. What can I do for you? Take a break. Sure. My voice could use a rest. You do Thank that. You again for this one's a favor. No. Did you? Okay. First of all, Muiri's ring. Create a potion. Uh, Problem. A legend we all know and love. Our hero, our hero. I've seen every call. Take. Sure. What can I do? A break, sure. please. My voice could use a rest. Make sure of it this time. I said, Alms, you backfire. Give a cripple worker a Are you going to go somewhere? It's a fine day with you around. Home sweet home. Astrid, contract is fulfilled. Ah, you're back. So, how went your first real contract? A bit more exciting than what Nazir's been offering, I'd wager? Remain silent, sure. Very well. I respect your discretion. Of course. Now... I need your assistance with a matter of a more mm, personal nature. Is something wrong? Hmm? It's Cicero. Ever since he arrived, his behavior's been, well, erratic would be an understatement. I do believe he is truly mad, but it's worse than that. He's taken to locking himself in the Night Mother's chamber and talking to someone in hushed but frantic tones. Who is he speaking with? What are they planning? I fear treachery. Perhaps you're being a bit paranoid? Yes? Maybe He's a so, madman. But healthy paranoia has saved this sanctuary before. And my gut's telling me that demented little fool is up to something. Fair enough. So what do you wish Rikazir to do? Dear brother... I need you to steal into that chamber and eavesdrop on their meeting. It'll be no use clinging to the shadows. They'll see you for sure. No, you need a hiding place. Somewhere they'd never think to look. Like inside the Night Mother's coffin. Oh. Seem, uh, seems a bit disrespectful, no? Be that as it may, we have no other choice. You need to remain unseen. Now go, before they meet, and report back to me with whatever you learn. 
right. Suppose so. Quickly, hide in the coffin before Cicero and the traitor meet. Uh, who would who who would the traitor be though? I mean, Astrid's the one setting this up, so it's not her. Arn Bjorn is Astrid's husband, so it's definitely not him. Vizara served since he was born, so it can't really be him. Babette, well, maybe she's grown bored of being a, an assassin, maybe? Although it doesn't seem like it. So, could be her. Um, Gabriella seems like she likes being an assassin. Kind of maybe him. Nazir, uh, possibly, though I doubt it. Festus, he does like being an assassin, so I doubt it's him. So right now our two main suspects are Babette and Nazir. I'm still not entirely sure whether they are actually, you know, eh. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, I'm I'm not going to this coffin. Let's go. There we go. Okay. Okay, there's actually a bottle. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> ah. Okay. And, um. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Are we alone? Yes. <laughs> yes. Alone. <laughs> Sweet solitude. No one will hear us. Disturb us. Everything is going according to plan. The others. I've spoken to them. And they're coming around, I know it. The wizard Festus Crex. <laughs> Perhaps even the Argonian. And the Unchild. What about you? Hmm? Have you... Have you spoken to anyone? No? No, of course not. I do the talking, the stalking, the seeing, and the saying. And what do you do? Hmm? Nothing! Not... Not that I'm angry. No, never. Cicero understands. <laughs> Cicero always understands. And obeys. You will talk when you're ready, won't you? Won't you? Sweet night, mother. Poor Cicero, dear uh, Cicero, what? such a humble servant, but he will never hear my voice, for he is not the listener. Oh, but how can I defend you? How can I exert your will if you will not speak to anyone? What's oh, going on? But I will speak. I will speak to you, for you are the one. I am the... what? Yes, you. You who shares my iron tomb, who warms my ancient bones. I give you this task. Journey to Wallen Road. Speak with Armand Mortier. Poor Cicero has failed you. Um. Poor Cicero is sorry, sweet mother. I've tried so very hard. But I just can't find the listener. Tell Cicero the time has come. Tell him the words he has been waiting for all these years. Darkness rises. When silence dies. Darkness rises when silence dies. What? 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 What treachery? Defiler. 
Debaser and defiler! You have violated the sanctity of the Night Mother's coffin! Explain yourself! Speak, worm! W the the Night Mother. Yeah. Of what the hell is going Okay. The Night Mother spoke to me. I think. She said, I am the one. She spoke to you? More treachery. More trickery and deceit. You lie. The Night Mother speaks only to the listener. And there is no listener. She said to tell you darkness rises when silence dies. She, she said that. She said those words to you. Yes. Darkness rises when silence dies. Yes. But those are the words, the binding words, written in the keeping tomes. A signal so I would know. Mother's only way of talking to sweet Cicero. Then it's true. She's back. Our lady is back. She has chosen a listener. Please stop dancing. She has chosen you. <laughs> All hail the listener. <laughs> oh, Asha, thank God you're here. Yeah. This, this ends now. Back away, fool. Whatever you've been planning is over. Are you all right? I heard the commotion. Who was Cicero talking to? Where's the accomplice? Reveal yourself, traitor. I spoke only to the Night Mother. I spoke to the Night Mother, but she didn't speak to me. Oh, no! She spoke only to him, to the listener. What? The listener? What are you going on about? What is this lunacy? It's true! It's true! The Night Mother has spoken! The silence um. has been broken! The listener has been chosen! When I, I heard Cicero screaming, I knew you'd been discovered. I feared the worst. Are you alright? Um, uh, well... I suppose I'm fine, yeah. Then what in Sithis' name is going on? Cicero spoke to the Night Mother. But she spoke to you? Is this just more of the fool's rambling? No, uh, she did speak to me. She, spe she said that I'm the one. What? So Cicero wasn't talking to anyone else. Just the Night Mother's body? Yep. And the Night Mother who, according to everything we know, will only speak to the person chosen as listener, just spoke. Right now. To you? Yes. By Sithis. And? What did she say? Rika Zera must speak to someone named Amand Motier in Volenrude. Amand Motier? I have no idea who that is. But Volenrude. That I have heard of. And I know where it is. So Rika Zera should go to Volenrud and talk to this man, yes? Hmm. No. No. Listen, I don't know what's going on here, but you take your orders from me. Are we clear on that? The Night Mother may have spoken to you, but I am still the leader of this family. I will not have my authority so easily dismissed. I... I need time to think about all this. Go see Nazir. Do some work for him. I'll find you when I'm ready to discuss the matter further. Okay, sure. So we've got some more, uh... Okay, let's... Okay, let's find out just... Oh, actually, before we do, though. What's in here? <laughs> I saw this! Uh, not really interesting. Okay, um... What exactly is that? Oh, you are the you listener! Are... You are the listener! I have served Mother well, I have! <laughs> what is a listener? Uh, yeah, what does a listener do? Oh, the listener, well, 
listens. <laughs> the Night Mother speaks to you, guides you on your path. But when the Night Mother speaks, the listener must obey. You must, for her word is the will of Sithis, and Sithis is the Dark Brotherhood <gasps> incarnate. Okay then. Will the Night Mother speak to Rika Zero again? Surely you're pulling Cicero's leg. Wait. <laughs> the listener is serious. <laughs> oh. Well, of course the Night Mother will speak to you again. She might speak now or later or... I don't know. But speak she will. The Night Mother is part of you now. You get to hear voices inside your head. The rest of us should be so lucky. I think you probably are uh, already here, voicing your heat mate. Right, uh... Okay. Are you excited? Oh, you should be! Things are finally looking up! I'm sure they are. Right, um... Nazir! Ah... Uh, I could do, do with some, um, menial work to... Relax, cause... Rust and ruin, this is... Whew. Brother. Astrid wanted Rikazera to see you about some more work. Well then, your timing couldn't be better. As it turns out, I've got two new contracts. One rather easy assignment, and another that should prove quite a challenge. Your first target is an orc bard named Lurbuk. The other is a vampire by the name of Hearn. Happy hunting. Okay, an orc and a vampire. Um, no, I'll good luck. Figure and out try as I not go. to get yourself killed. Easy, right? Let's see. What's your next stop then? Huh? Well, first of all, let's see. Uh, Lurbuck, turn of Morthal, and Half Moon Mill. That's nearby, isn't it? Half Moon Mill. Uh, yeah, that's actually, sure, we can go ahead and kill Hearn then. Uh, and another guy in Morthal, Larbuck. Got Brood Cavern. No idea what Brood Cavern is all about. Um, so, yeah, so we'll go ahead and kill Hearn. Mm, we'll hold off on that for a little bit, to be honest. Uh, let's see, is there anything else that we've got to do? Go to that. Uh, not really bother with that. I don't really want to go all the way up to High Hrothgar. Might check that out. Yep, let's check that one out then. Head back to the College of Winterhold. Um, alright, yeah, <laughs> these two. Uh, oh yeah, Visit Museum in Dawnstar, I wanted to do that. Uh, I'm probably not going to adopt anybody anytime soon. Uh, okay, I've only got a few things in Riften. Uh, okay. Let's kill Lorb, no, let's kill Heron. Then we'll continue to, uh, should we, maybe we should go for Bio Gulch Mine, just get that over with. Uh, yeah, or maybe we'll just go home from there. We shall see, we shall see. In the meantime, Greetings, though, brother. Vizara, good to see ya. For now, though, we've got a vampire to kill. Please, not now. You'll know when I'm ready to discuss the issue. I'm sure. For now, that oh, mind you. Please. That is a very not now. nice dagger. You'll know when I'm ready to discuss the issue. I'm sure. I'm sure. That's a very nice dagger. Wonder if I can have one that's similar. 